Follow the birdie. Twenty, and I get like a. Well, here, here's here's my thinking of it. There's there's probably three criteria for you to be in the Hall of Fame. One. Maybe we'll be there someday. I hope so. You know, I, maybe I, maybe I should. Yeah, I want to die. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> say it's, it's because of there there'll be a change in the. Uh, yeah, they the management been, basically. Yeah, right. They, it's been evolving, so it could happen. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I don't really care myself. You know, I'm just. I I know. I just a lot of artists don't. They just want their song, their you know, fans. You know, the the, the fans of the game. artists get more excited about it than the artists themselves yeah. sometimes. So, yeah. So okay. So, that. so it's it is Blue Coop though, yeah, correct? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Absolutely. Right. With Dennis Dunaway. Who's in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> well, I, 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 I've thought that he can vote for us now. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. The more did you know about the Saturday Night Live skit before? No, nope. they didn't have to. They didn't have to ask you permission to use the song. No. No, okay. See, how does that work? Well, normally, if it were, if it was a, they would contact the publishing company to get the rights. If it was a recording, oh, but it was okay. live. Yeah, it was a parody. Okay. So well, they used the recording now. Yeah, they did use I don't know. They didn't. They didn't contact us at all. No, we <laughs> had no <laughs> idea. So they they didn't contact you. No. No. Wow. But so you were what? Were you watching at the time, we, or did you have somebody we, say, get paid. "Turn it on, turn it on"? Did somebody call uh, you and ask you to watch, or were you watching oh, anyway? Yeah. yeah. The phone lit up, and I didn't find out about it until the next day. Yeah. I was actually, I was watching it, I was watching it, and I thought it was going to cut to an ad, so I, I turned it off. Oh. <laughs> it was voted in one of the, you know, there's a whole bunch of polls around, it was voted as the most iconic skit in Saturday Night Live history. That's a good yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot and of you competition. Can bet that, you can bet that you're... Classic Hit C93, and yes, the iconic sounds of Blue Oyster Cult. Don't Fear the Reaper, about eight after four. And, uh, well, if you're in the Clayton area, even if you're not in the Clayton area, if you want to travel to the Clayton Opera House, well, you're going to see a hell of a show on Saturday night, 7.30. It is a night of gold and platinum hits. Tickets on sale at the box office at uh, Clayton Opera House. You can give them a call, 315-686-2200. It is going to be Blue Coop. Now, Blue Coop features uh, Joe Bouchard, Albert Bouchard, co-founders of, of course, the band you just heard, uh, Blue Oyster Cult, and uh, also uh, Dennis Dunaway, formerly of the Alice Cooper Band Show, starts at 10. And, and Albert Bouchard, and I just got to say, welcome home, guys. Oh, it's great to be back. back. Welcome great home. Be back in Watertown. Now, tell me, tell me how, uh, how Blue Coop uh, came about about how, how did that band come about that you're that you're in now uh, well I um, this is Albert and I had a friend who knew a guy who was uh, opening a bar and he said I'll give you a whole bunch of money if you guys he'd seen us play at uh, the CBGB's uh, benefit you know save CBGB's yes. and, and that wasn't actually us it was uh, Dennis Dunaway and his band the Dennis Dunaway Project, <clears throat> and Joe and I both sat in with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we, we played a few songs with Dennis, and this guy happened to see it, and he said, I want these, you three, I don't want Dennis Dunaway Project, I want you three guys to come and play my bar. Oh, you know, man. where I'm going to give you a whole bunch of money, you know, thousands of dollars. And I'm like, I, I, I'll ask them. So, uh, <laughs> and like, Duh, uh, let me think about it. The next thing you know, we were in the car on our way to the Poconos. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Yeah. Now, tell me about um, the summer of 1970. Summer of 1970, when uh, I believe, Joe, you joined. Mm -hmm. I, got a, call, I got a call in the middle of the night. Albert woke me up. It was about 3, three, three o'clock in the morning. I was just getting up. He said, uh, <laughs> you want to join the band? And yeah. that, they needed a bass player really bad. So. Yeah. Foreigner, Loverboy, Joe mm. Jett, a band called Taxi, and Blue Oyster Cult. Now, tell me how it, what's it like to be on a tour like that? Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah. yeah Big really stage. All, everything is like first class treatment. Yeah. yeah. Every time they're, they're so nice to us, they yeah. bring us into the vault. We get to see the 
stuff that yeah, the public there, doesn't uh, get to yeah. see. James Brown's and, report card. Yeah. <laughs> a cape. James Brown's cape. I was I, I was there a couple of times. Is is there any is there any Blue Oyster Cult memorabilia in there? Um I don't think it we had it we had I we were negotiating. We were negotiating. <laughs> yeah, they were interested in putting my drum kit in there, which you know, still may happen. So Yeah. Okay. So um, kids now something I love to 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 ask uh, all the, the all the uh, bands that come in here, the musicians, what are you guys listening to now? Uh, what what's uh, new bands, old bands doesn't matter. What 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 bands are you influenced by? That, well, inspired by? Or are you listening to? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, my latest is Logic. Okay. I think Logic's record is fantastic. It's like a, just like a mind. It's I've never cra heard that. crazier than Kendrick Lamar's last record. Yeah, okay. Which is which is good. You know, and he got a bunch of Grammys for that. And but it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Logic. I mean, this is his fourth record, and he, you know, <clears throat> but before that, I was into um, oh Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey. I'm really, I'm not kidding. <laughs> At the uh, the Clayton Opera House, it is a night of gold and platinum hits with Joe Bouchard, Albert Bouchard, Dennis Dunaway, Blue Coop. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Classic Hit C93, you're calling number 25. Who's on line? Oh, thanks. <laughs> where, uh, where, where are you calling from? Uh, Clayton. Say hello to the guys. They're on the, they're on the phone with you. Hey, how are you doing? Fantastic. And they're, nice to meet you guys. And she's, yeah. from, and she's from Clayton, right? You well, I'm, technically, I'm in Clayton visiting. I'm from Rochester, but I grew up in Dexter. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. you, well you, love, Rochester. you love rock and roll, so you're going to see a great show, Blue Coop, on uh, Saturday night. Uh, 7 30 okay. at the Clayton Opera House. And not only that, you have uh -huh. uh, two tickets to the show uh, you're, uh -huh. uh, and also a signed Albert Bouchard t shirt. Fantastic. Signed by, signed by the man himself. And uh, what, what else? What, anything else? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a free meet and greet after the show. Okay, so, so please come by. 